Hey guys, my name is Prashant Sharma and you are watching Robo Circuits. In this video, we are going to host a website on our ESP32. Yes, we are going to host an actual website on this small thing. So this concept is known as web servers. So our ESP32 will act as a web server then with our mobile phone or our computer we will be able to go to that website and check it out and we can also do some pretty good stuff with it so in this video we are going to attach two leds on this csp32 then we will make a website and whenever we connect to that website and we press some buttons the led on the csp32 will glow so this is the project for today and I am really happy to tell you that this video is sponsored by LTM 365 and we will talk about it later in the video. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here we have two LEDs and we are going to solder this LED on the GPIO pins. So first of all, let us connect the both the ground wires to one another like this and now we have one ground and two data pins so first of all we will solder the ground pin to the ground on the ESP32 so here we have the ground wire you can use a breadboard if you want I am currently solting these directly As you can see, I have soldered the ground pin on the ground of the ESP32. Now we have two GPIO pins here. So one is D2 and another is D4. We are, I am going to connect the first LED to D2 and the second to D4. So we have connected both the LEDs to the ESP32. Uh, let's make sure they are not touching. Okay, so this is done. We have one of the LED connected to D2, another to D4, and the common light is connected to ground. So the circuit is done. Now, now we need a data cable a micro B data cable to connect our ESP32 to the computer. Now let's connect the ESP32 to the computer and let's get to the computer screens and check what code we have to upload. Currently I have opened the Arduino IDE and I have also opened the code which we have to upload onto our ESP32. First of all let's take a look at the code. I have defined the Wi-Fi ID and password so that my, my ESP could be connected to the router. Then we have started an ESP server. After that, for the two LEDs, I have made two variables so that I can save their state. Then we have the LED pin number. So we have connected LED 1 to pin number 2 and LED 2 to pin number 4. Then in the setup function, first of all, we have to set the LED pins as output and initially we will set the LED pins to off state, that means low. Then we will try to connect to the Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi credentials, the SSID and password which we have provided above. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, we will go further and we will start the server. In the loop function, we will create a Wi-Fi client. So whenever the server is available, we will create a client. If the client is created successfully, then we will start our server process. So whenever we get a client, whenever we get a client, we will send 
our HTML page that will display on our uh, on our browser. So here we have started our HTML code which we will send. So first of all this is the head then we have defined the styles and CSS for the buttons the buttons which we will press to turn on and turn off the LED then we have in the body section we will start with writing ESP32 web server then we will show the state of the first LED and we will create a button so whenever the LED state is off we will show the on button and whenever the LED state is on we will show the off button in the same way I have created two buttons and finally we have closed the body and closed the HTML in this way we will send the HTML page to the client and once it is done we will stop the client and we will disconnect it the code is really simple to understand now whenever we get anything from the button from these buttons we will get those on this URL slash LED1 slash on so we will make this code whenever we get anything from the LED1 dot on or LED1 off then LED2 on and LED2 off we will change the state of the LED we will digital write LED1 is high or LED1 is low like this the code is really really simple to understand if you just read out once you can get the code really easily I have mentioned all the comments and everything here so that you can understand it so I think now it's time to upload this code on the ESP32 and check how it is working and first of all we will select our module ESP32 dev module and the port USB serial 001 and now we will upload this code now we will open the serial monitor let's clear everything it is currently connecting to the Wi-Fi network once Wi-Fi is connected we will get the IP now we will have to copy this IP and go to our browser and paste it in the URL section. Now you can see our ESP32 web server has started. Now we have the LED1 state which is currently off and the LED2 state which is currently off. If I click on this button the LED on the ESP32 will turn off and if I click the second one button the LED2 will turn off. So here we have the ESP32 and the two LEDs which are installed. Then we have the website which is currently running on this ESP32 on my laptop. Whenever I click on the first button, the LED1 turns on. If I click it again, it turns off. If I click the LED2, it turns on, it turns off. In this way, we can turn on and off the LEDs using our, our website which is currently hosted on the ESP32 but there is a small problem with this method actually the IP on the router keeps on changing and we cannot like uh, we have every time we have to connect the ESP32 to the serial monitor to check what IP the ESP is currently getting so let's try some other way so that instead of this IP we can actually use a URL. So whenever our ESP connects to the router, the router assigns an IP address to the ESP like this one. Using this IP we can find the ESP on our local network and we can access the website which the web which the ESP32 is currently hosting. But the problem with this IP is it keeps on changing. Whenever we want to access the website on the ESP32, 
we must know this IP. And if we are using the ESP32 in some pro in some home automation project or something else, we there is no method to get this IP. Or if we are going to find this IP on the router, it will take a lot of time. So how can we change this IP into something more rememberable? So is there any method said that we can use that domain name service in our ESP32 in our local network? Yes, there is one. It is known as MDNS, Multicast Domain Name System. So that means whenever we start MDNS service, we can give a particular name to our IP. So whenever I type in that particular name, continued with a dot local extension, I will automatically be connected to the IP of the system, whether it is changing or not changing. So let us implement the MDNS service in our code. First of all, we will have to include a new library, which is ESPMDNS.h. After that, in the setup function, once the Wi-Fi is connected, after that, we will have to write a small piece of code in which we will use the function mdns.begin and we will name our URL or our host name. Particularly, it is known as a host name. So we will use it and we will wait until it's get connected and that's it. Let us now upload this code. Upload. We have successfully uploaded the new code on the ESP32 and currently the MDNS responder has started. Let's get back to the browser. Now instead of this IP, we will write hostname which is robocircuits.local and the website opens. Now we don't have to write this weird looking IP again and again. We can just add robocircuits.local and our website will open up and it will work as same as last time. That's so simple. In this way we can make a web server on ESP32 and host our own website on the ESP32. Now, we, instead of the LEDs, we can use relays to control our lights, our fans and anything we want. And in this way, we can make a simple home automation project with this part also. So I think you understand how a web server on an ESP32 works and how we can use MDNS service to give a beautiful looking URL instead of entering IPs on our browser. So this was it for this video and thank you LTM and all you guys for supporting this channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.